from the following list of options. Press 1 for technical support. Press 2 for sales. Press 3 for billing. Press star to repeat this menu. Three, four, Thank you for calling. Five, How can I help four, you? Five, two, one, four, Hello? Five, two, one, four, seven, Hello? Can you help me? Five, two, one, four, Are you there? Seven, one, Hello? Four, five, Hello? One, Hello? Yeah. Hello? How can I help oh, you, I sir? I couldn't hear you. I, I got a problem with my bill. What bill, sir? The bill for my technical support. What happened, sir? I got charged too much. How come you are uh, charged too much, sir? Can you please explain me briefly so that I can help you? Yeah, it was supposed to be forty nine ninety five, and my mm -hmm. credit card showed mm -hmm. eighty nine ninety five. And uh, who charged you, sir? Um, uh, micro tech support. Hello. Micro tech support. Yes. And when did you pay it, sir? I paid last month. I, I, I ordered it last month. What you ordered, sir? I, it was just, I got a call for technical support and it said it was mm -hmm. forty nine ninety five. You got a call from someone saying that you have to pay this amount? Yeah. Sir, but Microsoft never calls their customer for making any payment. Well, I wonder what happened then. How come I did it? Do you remember the number from where you got the call from? No, gee, no. no. So I think you have paid to a scammer and that's oh. the reason the payment is showing like this because Microsoft never calls anyone for any kind of payment. Did they get into your computer? Yeah, they, they um, it was a team viewer thing I had to put in. Oh my God. Then, then, sir, they... then, sir, you have been completely scammed, sir. Because Microsoft never goes through Team Viewer or something. This is something which is used by these scammers. Uh oh. That means they have hacked your computer and your personal information as well. Uh oh. Okay. I wonder if I should bring it somewhere. I don't know what to do now. Do you want, uh, sir? You are right now talking to the Microsoft technician. So do you want me to help you with the problem? Well, yeah, if you can. Sure, sir. Uh, so what I will do, I will go ahead and get you connected on the Microsoft server so that I can help you to check if they have stolen anything from the computer or they have left any hacking files on the computer, all right? Well, I got to turn it on. Can I turn it on? Yeah, sure, sir. You can turn it on. And for the verification purpose, can you help me with your first and last name, sir? My first name is Roy, R-O-Y. And the last name, please? Rogers, R-O-G-E-R-S. All right, and please can you confirm me your email? My email is T-R-I-G-G-E-R at gmail.com. Okay, and may I know from where you are calling us from? New York. All right, just give me a moment, sir. All right, so, so can you please go ahead and turn on the computer? Yeah, I, I just flipped it on. It takes a minute to warm up. All right, so. All right, it's, it's, it's on now. All right, so. So uh, can you confirm me? Are you able to see your icons on the screen? Yes, yes. Okay, I would like you to press and hold down the Windows key on your keyboard, the key which looks like four little boxes made on it. Can you see that key, sir? Yeah. I would like you to press and hold down that key with the help of your thumb. And while pressing and holding down that key, use your index finger and press the letter R. R as in Romeo. Okay, this box popped up that says run. All right. Type the letters I'm guiding you with. You can just put the letters in the lower case, all right? Okay. So it's I as in Indiana. I. Then put a dot. Dot. Then type the letter H, H as in hotel. All right, so uh, just give me a moment, so I spell the things wrong for you, okay? Uh, uh, okay. Can you just, yeah, can you just erase the complete thing except the I explore? Okay, everything's gone. Yeah, do you have the I explore written over there? Yes. Please, uh, after I explore, put a space and type www. 
please let me know. Uh, you have the complete thing, then click on OK or press Enter from your keyboard. Okay, I, I clicked it. Let me know whatever comes up on your screen, so. Okay, and it says um, support connection. Add a six to the code, but I don't know what the code is. I will give you the code. The code is two four one one two zero. Now what? Now please click on start download. Okay, down the bottom it says run save. Click cancel. on run. Yeah. Click run. on run. Okay, now it says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. I think this is the same thing the other guy did. Sir, you told me they did Team Viewer, sir. This is not a Team Viewer. This is something from the Microsoft. Oh. So you will be getting a prompt from our senior technician, that is from Sam. So please click on yes oh, or okay. Sam would like to perform one or more yeah. of these. Yeah, you need to, you need to click on computer, that, sir. Controller view, view system. Okay, I clicked okay. All right, so just allow me some time. We will get connected to you soon. Here I am connected with you, sir. Just okay. give me a moment. And sir, can you please confirm me, uh, did you check your bank statement? No. So how can, how come you know that sir, uh, the charge has been deducted more than what they have told you? I got the bill in the mail. All right, all right sir. No problem, what I am doing right now sir, I am just running a few scans on your computer so that I can check what exactly the damages they have created, okay? Okay. And yeah. Yeah, and well, so one more thing I can see that you have a lot of things installed on your computer like Avast and then Malwarebytes, Super Anti, something. Yeah, I got all that and stuff, yeah, to keep it out. Who, keep, who have installed all this? You have installed all, all the things? No, my uh, grandson. So I would like to tell you that when you install more than one security on your computer, all the security clashes to each other and none of the security works properly on the computer. Uh -oh. And that makes very easy for the yeah. hackers and the viruses to get into your computer, so. Okay. So this is something which is not required at all on the computer which you have done. And one more thing, so as I can see that you are using uh, Microsoft Windows 10, right? Yes. So Microsoft Windows 10 is not compatible to any of the, uh, I would say, third-party security. And AVG, Avast, Malwarebytes, these are all security which are actually not the part of Microsoft. Well, how come they give so it to me? So I don't think Microsoft has given that to you because Microsoft will never give you this kind of software. No, they, no not Microsoft. I mean, it's free mm -hmm. on the Internet. It's free. Yeah, that, that's free, sir. That's the reason. It doesn't give you any protection. All right? So I got to get... free, of course, yeah. Yeah. And okay. I'm just running a few scans over here, sir, so that I can just check what damages they have done so that I can guide you with the best okay. solution for it, okay? Okay. The scan will take a while to complete, sir. So just bear with us. Okay. Oh boy, I don't know what's going to happen to me now. Oh, and just scan take. So scan will take some time, sir. So you think the other guy was a scammer? Right, sir. I'll probably never get my money back. So if they have charged you and they have your information, I also don't think you will be getting that back. I don't think so either, no. Well, so you can see that the scan has been completed, and yeah. it says computer at risk, hackers detected, virus detected, software is corrupted. Cow. Alert. Oh, yeah. Oh. Windows, Security Windows. damaged, Windows might crash. Uh -uh. Just give me a moment, sir. I'm just checking the rest of the thing as well for you. Okay. Good. Okay, what's all this doing now? So I'm just checking things on your computer so that we can just verify what are the damages they have done, okay? Okay. So, so uh, as it's a hacking issue and they have hacked into most of your things and they have created a complete damage, so what the best we can do over here is we can just go ahead and install some kind of securities and protections and block them from doing that. Because they have even hacked into your network too, sir. Oh. Okay? How do they do that? Because so you have allowed them to get into your computer. I let the scammer in my computer. How stupid can I be? 
and as you have allowed them to get into your computer so that's the reason how they have got the complete information and they have sent all the kind of junks and infections okay so 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 what the best we can do is we can just go ahead and install the Microsoft professional support on it okay okay and we have to remove all the kind of you know the third party securities which you have installed sir okay, okay because this is this is allowing them more to get into your computer okay it well, says microsoft.net sure. frame on unheld expressions in the closet and now the so these are the problems message. that come to be on it please call the number uh -oh. as soon as possible you will be guided for the removal of the adware spyware virus on your computer what happened seeing these pop-ups means that you have a virus installed on your computer which puts the security of your personal data at a I serious risk did you hear the it's computer? It's advised that you call the number provided so and get your computer, your computer fixed you before say? you do any shopping online. It says Important I got a virus. It message. says security message. Please call the number provided as soon as possible. You will be guided for the so removal of the is this coming from your other computer? computer? No, it's coming from this See one. I only got one computer. Installed on your computer which puts the secure call the number I, I, I don't think so. This is coming from this computer. Okay, it stopped. I don't know what it is. Okay, so the Microsoft Professional Support comes for five years. Okay. And the lifetime. Okay. For the complete five years, sir, that would cost you $9.99.99. And, and for complete lifetime, sir, that would cost you $199.99. And, and this is for your unlimited uh, devices. $1,900? Yes, sir. That's two thousand dollars. I understand that. You sir, know how much a computer cost? It doesn't cost two thousand dollars. So this is the best we can do in order to help you to fix the problem. Now it's completely your choice what you want to do. Don't you have something shorter than five years? Okay, you want to go for the five years, sir? No, don't you have anything shorter than five? No, sir. This is the minimum I can install on your computer for Microsoft professional support. Let me ask my aunt if she can help me pay for this. Aunt Rupi. What? Aunt Rupi. Oh, boy. She's not going to help. Uh -huh. now, yes, sir. Now what do we do? So is your Ruby crazy? <laughs> a little bit, yes. Yeah, that's why she's abusing in Gujarati, I guess. She is abusing me. Mm. Oh my God, that's a great marriage couple you are, so. No, it's my aunt. I have to take care of her, she lives with me. Mm. So this is the only way I can help you, ask your Ruby to help you, sir. And Ruby, please. All she does is yell at language. I don't know. I think what she's saying is you're a scammer too. <laughs> oh, she's very smart though. She is a smart lady, that Aunt Rupee boy. I'm glad I have her around. That oh was, my God! That was she's a, an Indian. That's the reason she's smart, though. You know, yeah, Indians yeah, are smart. Yeah, they are smart. I mean, you're not one of them, but there may be some over there. <laughs> but Indians are smart. That's the reason we are able to scam you. You know. You didn't and scam like, me. She's abusing you. She's also smart that she's abusing you. Wait a minute. You want to hear my uncle Ben? No. <laughs> <laughs>